Narcisse Manitoba, a leafy forest canopy conceals what lies beneath. Teeming with slithery activity, Narcisse is home to the world's largest concentration of snakes. Red-sided garter snakes. Thousands live here. They're harmless, curious, cold-blooded, maybe even a little cute. Narcissus is a tourism hotspot about 100 kilometers north of Winnipeg. Each spring, snakes emerge from underground cracks and caves in limestone bedrock. There are four main dens where snakes spend the winter here. They're connected by a network of hiking trails through the woods that get you up close and personal with the scaly specimens. And they emerge hungry for love. But it's not a one-on-one affair. Every spring, the grounds in these woods come alive with these. A single big female gets tangled up with up to a hundred smaller, eager males. Narcissus Manitoba is the site of the world's largest gathering of snakes. And it's because of the limestone earth here. It cracks and creates these caves underground where the snakes spend the winter. And then in the spring, when things warm up, they come on out and they form these naughty, kinked up mating balls. Usually about 100 males to one female. And the way the males find the females in this mess of snakes all over the ground here, the female puts off this sort of kinky scent or pheromones. And that says, come hither to the males. Somehow she chooses a mate in that uh, group of activity. Often, if you're watching a mating ball and you see the, uh, them suddenly go on the move, uh, the females rejected all the males in that mating ball and she's trying to lose them and form another mating ball farther over, hopefully finding a more suitable mate. Romantic in its way, no? If you say so. <laughs> Teaching the mating ball is definitely interesting. There's a lot of oohs and ahs, um, but uh, it's definitely a highlight. A lot of our kids don't get a chance to experience nature. Uh, we do a lot of uh, nature activities with them, including the narcissus snake dens. We go ice fishing, we go canoeing, and it gives them a chance just to kind of like find a new love outside of their, you know, their games and their and their couch. And uh, I think it's a really good experience for the kids. For a lot of our kids too, we have a lot of international kids in our program that it's um, super interesting for them to just know that these snakes are coming out of the ground. What's your advice to somebody who might come here and see a snake and be a little bit afraid? Don't be afraid. <laughs> just go for it and hold it. It's really fun. It's that one time in your life experience. The mating frenzy typically lasts a few weeks, usually from the end of April through the first weeks of May. Once the deed is done, the snakes disperse through the woods for summer. Litters of live babies are born. Frogs and grasshoppers swallowed up. By the end of August and early September, the caves call them back underground to wait out another cold Canadian winter. Bryce Hoy, CBC News, Narcisse, Manitoba. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.